Funky, funky, funky white folks. I feel like they're they're Swedish. Don't they sound like they're Swedish? Funky, funky Swedish dudes. And why am I having funky Swedish dudes sing about courage? Oh, you know it's apropos. I'm meditating today on Joshua one nine. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whither soever thou goest. Thy God is with thee, whither, whither soever thou goest. That is a, uh, a Lisper's paradise there. <sighs> Courage. The lion wanted it, didn't have it. Some of us are born with a suitable measure of personal courage. Some of us are born with foolhardy courage. Some of us are born with appropriate courage. Some of us are born afraid and trembling and deferential to the point of paralysis. God is calling us all to be conquerors in his name. We have grown up as a species, as a, as a people, to some degree, in that, though we still are broken as we are and barbaric as we are, there are certain strains of barbarism uh, which have been outgrown I hope we're at least past our uh, early teenage years of fisticuffs and uh, the only way to resolve an argument is with punches and with conquering and with genocides. But we are called to be conquerors not necessarily in the way that Joshua was called, but we are called to be conquerors of, our, of ourselves and of the world around us. And not of people's flesh, but of people's souls. We are called to give our own soul up for a higher purpose. We are called not to sacrifice animals and things, but to sacrifice our independence and declare our fealty to our Creator and move in freedom of abundant, everlasting, eternal joy and connection with him, with all that God is, with the, the outpouring of life and creation and love and mercy and grace and power and righteousness, the glory of righteousness that he is. To walk in that is to be afraid of nothing, is to fear nothing. To truly fear God is to fear nothing else. To fear no death, to fear no loneliness, to feel no to fear no failure. For again, this is all but a test, but a game, but a trick, but an echo, but a shadow. Everything in this life is part of a part of a lesson plan. 
If you are walking in the grace of God and surrender to God, then fear nothing. If you are walking in your own grace and your own governance, and you're walking in enmity to God, and you're telling God, God, I want you to who I want you to be who I want you to be. I want to do whatever it is I want to do, whether it pleases you or not. If it pleases me is the grand design. Then do not walk in courage. Do not walk in in peace. For self-governance leads to self-salvation. And you cannot save yourself. You can make amends when you hurt someone's feelings, when you do something wrong. You can go and try to repair that bridge and that gap with, with other people. And there are many ways to do it and much advice to take. But when you walk in enmity to God, when you do according to that which is absent of him or displeasing to him. Forgiveness, the path to forgiveness is single-fold. It is repentance. It is walking in obedience and surrender to him. Not just surrender to anything and everything. Not just surrender to blankness. But surrender to him. Surrender to the source of of all that is good and holy and true and the very creator of this majestic sculpture slash performance art slash painting slash uh, CGI made real masterpiece that this world is. And you are the same. But deluding yourself that you are functioning and moving in courage when you are the one pushing the buttons, making the actions of your, your puppetry, then you're still a dead thing and a puppet. But let God, let Christ move through you. He is sacrificed of himself just to know you, just to tell you how much he loves you, to tell you how little the things of this flesh truly matter. And he wants to Pinocchio you up and make you a real live boy. A real live girl. No longer dancing like broken dolls. But dancing flesh and blood. Triumphant. Blowing trumpets and horns around the walls of Jericho. Be of good courage. Peace be unto you. Amen. And say that.